I need the whole thing torn down so I can weld the frame up. But before I take the cab off, I wanted to get some things done on the firewall, so that means the whole front end's got to go together and figure out inner fenders and all that, so I can do a design on the firewall and match with the inner fenders, so... It just kind of steps before steps, but it all ends, it all uh, works out well in the end, so... Now it's El Braco. Now it's El Braco. Getting our clothes out, panels welded in. Got the flange on this all welded in. Just after you weld it, everything wants to move, so now you gotta readjust, so. Not sure why this one's not lining up right. Put it together, take it apart, put it together, take it apart. truck down so we can get the frame down on the jig so I can finish welding all the cross member on the front end and a lot of the tubing still needs to be welded so we get that all finished welded and then we can actually take it off of this jig and set it on the ground and build the truck back up again so get some welding done and be on the road Cleaning up all the welds on this so uh, it's easier for the guys to do the body work. They're going to actually mold the frame so all the welds will be molded in and painted real nice. So a little more work but it looks really nice when it's done. We painted black? Yeah, it's going black and it'll get sanded and buffed and everything so oh, okay. it's going to be super slick. Super nice. A lot of work, but it should look good. Oh yeah, it's worth it in the end. Yeah. 
taking these. They had switched these over to bare claw latches and shaved the door handles. We're gonna put door handles back on it and um, put late model latches in it like we do on a lot of builds so that the door shut real nice and easy. So I'm gonna take all this out, get some factory door handles back on it and um, set our late model latch up. It's a lot of work, but the late model latches just latch so nice. Literally just click the door shut versus slamming them in these old cars. So. The bear claws ain't too bad. But still not as nice. That's the bear claw? Yeah. These are the... These are our late model door latches. They're set up for an inside handle too. And then we, are, we've got to do some modifying. Here's your outside door handle rod. Those are huge compared to the other ones. Yeah, they are big, but they're all, they're just so smooth and you hear it like can't even hardly hear them click or latching. So yeah, when you, uh, we get these installed, they're really nice. Like we did on the F600, we put some in those. Oh, okay. Yeah, those do, those do close nice. Yeah. Then it's just, you could push them shut with your finger, you know, instead of slamming them. Just a real nice touch to a custom build. Right on the edge. Sand blast that up. Hammer it around a little bit. I gotta take this section out too. They filled it in on that door. Oh yeah? So that's the mount screw to hold in the door handle. The screw goes through here and holds the door handle on. So I'll just take just this. It on the other side? Yeah, I'll just take this piece and set it up on that door where it needs to go and then cut that door out and weld this in. I'll go sandblast it first. The inner, that's the inner piece that the screw goes through and into the handle to mount the door handle. 
they had carved this little section out and made it smooth. So I had to take that piece out of that other door and get it in here. This is like heats the panel up and then when you hit it with the wet rag it shrinks it down but it's only shrinking down the high spots so as you go over this with a flat disc it's actually hitting the high spots and making them hot and then when you cool it down with the rag it shrinks that spot down to make it level and it it works too like it's kind of the opposite effect on the weld. It'll actually bring it up. Sometimes I may have to hammer this up a little bit. It smooths it out, out real nice. So if you got like a little bit of a high spot like right there. You wanna keep the grinder really flat so it's only hitting the high spots or hitting it more than the rest. So it heats this spot up more, and then when you cool it with the rag, it'll shrink it down and make it flat. template yeah template for this latch I'm trying to decide how I want to do that I can either leave this long and weld it all in which I guess I won't because of this so we only want it to be about maybe about this wide so it'll be over to here and cut this out. Oops. Maybe I shouldn't go that far. I don't know what these holes are for. This one's gonna be up here. So this will get cut out. I guess I can go like that. Very nice. Get a look at that, folks. That right there is the Siddle Man in action. Yeah. All morning in action. <laughs> Trying to get one bolt to work right. But they get it now. Yeah, and that works nice. Oh, you can one finger that. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming with one finger. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more build videos like this, help us out by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. If you want to buy merch, 
go to store.classiccarstudio.com. See you next time.